welcome to the channel in this uh, video i'll show you different ways to disperse xanthan gum xanthan gum is a very popular techno in lotion making generally in the skincare industry we use xanthan gum for a variety of application why do we use xanthan gum xanthan gum helps to stabilize your emotion and it really helps to give you a strong a high vis viscosity emotion so a lot of you that don't use xanthan gum i highly recommend that you keep using it from now on it's a life-saving ingredient but hey if you don't know how to use this ingredient it might really affect the outcome of your lotion or any other skincare product that you plan to make so what are the best way to disperse uh, xanthan gum on a commercial level they disperse it companies disperse it in um, in uh, using an homogenizer or you know other tanks okay on the on the commercial level but for horse indie brand the best way to disperse xanthan gum is to use uh, either you use glycerin i will show that to you shortly or you use uh, an, um, a small homogenizer a handed homogenizer or you can use an immersion blender so uh, because we if you are just starting out here, the best way to disperse xanthan gum. Most online skincare school will show you uh, this popular method, and this is adding your xanthan gum to glycerin and blending it. It's a very popular method, right? So if you are just starting out, I know maybe perhaps that's the um, the style you know. That's nothing bad in it. So I'll show that to you also. So you will add your xanthan gum to glycerin right then you blend it right now here is the here is the trick here most of us if you want to formulate if you want to make a skincare product let's say you want to make a lotion for instance after adding your glycerin to uh, the xanthan gum you use it right away so the mistake we're making here is that uh, if you use it right away then you haven't given the xanthan gum enough time to hydrate so you need to add it to glycerin and allow it to hydrate a little bit so you want to just add it to glycerin okay the best way to use this is leave it on for you can even cover it okay with a plastic uh, wrap Okay. either use a plastic wrap or you can cover it with uh, a foil just make sure it's not yet you didn't apply any heat to it so cover it with a foil and leave it leave it aside for at least 20 minutes at most yeah make sure you leave aside for at least 20 minutes so this is the best way then after 20 minutes you can take it out and add it to your water face ingredient if you're making lotion you add it to the water face ingredient and you're going to warm it so that's the that's the first part is the most popular uh, uh, method now the least popular method that most people most uh, indie brand don't do is the water part okay so you had you weigh your xanthan gum then you had water to it add enough water and how do you add the water to you make sure the water you had to eat is taken from your water facing green hole oh, what you can do is measure your water facing water okay so let's say your water facing green has distilled water maybe aloe vera juice and so on first thing you want to do right i'll take an i will take i'll take another beaker to explain to you better okay the first thing you want to do is you waste weigh the distilled water part of your water ingredient so is your distilled water for instance is if your distilled water for instance is like 20 20 gram or let's just say 40 gram right so measure 40 gram Then you add your xanthan gum to it. So only the distilled water part. Add the xanthan gum to it. Okay. Then you can use an homogenizer to blend it together. Mm. 
an homogenizer will do a better job of blending this for you as a matter of fact i was doing a project uh, last week and i noticed an homogenizer will give you your smoother consistency even than some small um i'm not i'm not trying to say homogenizer uh an immersion blender will give you a more consistent you know mix than some homogenizer so keep that in mind you can use your immersion blender okay so like the one i use now just blend it also after blending it, you want to give it enough time to hydrate so a lot of us rush our process because we want to get it out of the way quick no after this you're going to leave it on for another 10 minutes okay don't use it right away uh xanthan gum needs to hydrate to function well you need it to hydrate properly to function so you need to cover it don't apply anything just cover it put it aside for 20 minutes then you can now continue right so let's say your 20 minutes over now i'm taking the water side the water f um version for instance so you take it out then you add the rest of your water face ingredient to it one by one and you mix it okay so add the w measure your water face ingredient one by one and uh, add it to it and mix it so once you that is fully done then you can put it in your water bath and you can continue formulating so a lot of a lot of mess have been made because what online skincare uh, school so some online skincare could teach us a lie even the most popular one i'm sorry to say a lot of you have gone to formula botanica so i know a lot a lot a lot of this uh, skincare school are giving us rock information and this is the foundation okay of formulation if you get it wrong at the foundation then everything will go wrong so it will just seem as if you don't know what you're doing or some some have even quit you know they're just tired of the whole thing it looks so confusing so if you're there don't worry that's why i opened this channel to help you out to give you you know t simple simple tips that most skincare school don't give you and to help you become a pro formulator so if you have not subscribed to this channel do well by clicking the subscribe button and the notification icon to be notified when i upload new videos hey before i let you go a lot of people ask me what amount of xanthan gum can i use in my formulation if you want to avoid a lot of issues that arise with xanthan gum uh i know most people will tell you to use 0 0.5 gram you know the more you use doesn't really 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 matter i really suggest 0 0.2 gram okay 0 0.2 is enough for you so when you're making any formulation try and go with zero po there are some formulations that i've even used 0 0.1 so but 0 0.2 is 0 0.2 gram i mean 0 0.2 percent of your formulation is the ideal i mean recommended amount to use okay so that's about it for this video if you have any question about xanthan gum you have run into any issue about xanthan gum feel free to drop the comment in the comment box below um i will be releasing more video now about so i have so many many requests from fel uh, fellow formulators that you know they need a lot a lot a lot of issue fix so that's what i'll be doing this channel is about fixing issue that arise along with your formulation journey so feel free to click that subscribe button click the notification icon so as to be the first to be notified when i upload new video thank you for watching <laughs>